it's mentioned a dozen times in that short psalm. And to praise God is to acknowledge the glories of his excellent person. It differs somewhat than thanksgiving, which describes what God has done, rather than what he is. Here are some facts about praise. God alone is worthy of our praise. It is his will for us that we should praise. This praise should be continuous and also public. We are to praise God for his holiness, grace, his goodness, and his kindness. All nature praises God, even the sea creatures below. The sun, moon, and stars praise him, and the angels praise him. He's beautiful. So whoever is able to stand, please stand, and let's praise God. We'll start with the Shema. Shema Israel
Genesis 1-1, our Bible starts with, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This is so foundational to our faith. And we can understand why John begins his gospel message, message with these words. And John continues in 1:14, The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. He has a name above all names. So beautiful, so wonderful, and all-powerful. You were the word at the 
Nairi's going to bless us with a beautiful voice, and um, we're going to continue to praise, how great are you, Lord.
Choose to be. 